you know, they're going to crack down because everybody's so scared of uh, terrorism. And uh, we're going to see some guards posted at, uh, you know, malls. And, and everybody's running around scared. And uh, a while ago when I took a break from Facebook and I came back on and I said, well, that's what's coming. I said that terror is coming and that everybody's going to be stressing out and worried about terrorists and ISIS and everything else. Um, I told you it was going to happen. You can go back and look. Well, um, once again, and I'm here to say, cut it out. I mean, just cut it out. I mean, your children are our children and our children are your children. Cut it out. Everybody's being played today. You got greed running the world and corrupting everyone. You got the TV constantly brainwashing you into thinking that you have to have more and you have to have more. I mean, just look at the, uh, look at the crowds on Black Friday just trampling each other and fighting like animals over a TV. Cut it out. Climate change is the worst it's ever been. Indonesia right now. They don't even know if they have food stores because of the drought. It's affecting the entire nation. You have the refugee crisis. You have... Cut it out. I'm telling you. You know, things... I keep telling people, oh, well, they're going to get worse. And, and, um, and just recently, you know, I shared a dream where I had... Um, where there was you know, uh, terrorists in the back of a white pickup truck and they were using chemical weapons and I was sealing up the air conditioner, you know, trying to keep it out. And I, I woke up in the morning um, and I was you know, terrified because I, um, I thought like, oh my God, now I have to tell everybody about this next. And if I tell everybody, then most likely it'll probably even happen. And pretty much right after I posted it, you know, there was a big report on how they're now doing chemical weapons. So I've noticed that the things that I say um, happen. And some people are saying that, oh, you know, the power of our words. You always talk about the power of your words. And, you know, um, even Dan Dan told me last night, she goes, you know, it's some of the things you're saying. It's scary. And I go, I know. But I mean, come on. People got to wake up, cut it out. They got to stop this nonsense. I mean, do you honestly think if we just bury our heads in the sand and we just kind of let this go and we, you know, <laughs> spend our time on social media saying, oh, we are love and God is good and Jesus is coming and the hell with them Muslims and the hell with them Christians and, well, we need our guns and do you think that that's going to make things better? A fire doesn't put out a fire, people. Cut it out. Our children are your children. Your children are our children. We all want peace. We all want security. We all want to live that supposed American dream, which everybody knows is a lie. Because right now, if we have to have assault rifles at our malls, and we have to have our men and women going off to fight wars, that we don't even know why we're there. What kind of freedom is that? But if everybody just cut it out, just cut it out. You don't have to pick up your gun. You don't have to fight someone. Have a little faith. If you gotta struggle, struggle, but put your faith in something higher. And let me tell you what's higher than this world. Doing good unto others. Because this world is not about doing good anymore. Because we have debates raging on whether we should take refugees into our country. Well, well, we shouldn't do that because we have the poor to feed and we're not feeding the poor. Cut it out! We gotta stop living for ourselves and we gotta start living for each other. Things are gonna get worse if they don't get better. Cut it out! I don't want to see, you know, a big terrorist attack. I don't want to hear about a big terrorist attack on, uh, you know, our uh, a major point of travel like Grand Central or Penn Station. I don't want to hear about that. I don't want to hear about chemical weapons. 
I don't want to hear about that. I don't want my children to be scared about that. I don't want my son to come home and have his history teacher teaching him about the terrorists that just killed 14 people. Cut it out! If you don't want someone to kill your loved one, don't kill anyone else. It's that simple. If you don't want someone to steal from you, don't steal from someone. It's that simple. So I'm here to say that those greedy, those corrupt organizations, the ones that are fueling all of this, because if I'm gonna say something and it's gonna happen, then I'm just gonna say this, because this is what I want. I don't have a feeling about this, but I'll just speak it out there. If, if our words have power, I want change in the world. So I want those that can make a difference to wake up. I want every one of you to listen to this message. It's time to live for more than yourself. Because if you live by the sword and your actions cause the harm and the suffering and the death and the misery of another, you die by it. So cut it out. Because if these corporations and these globalists or world bankers or whatever the conspiracy theorists call them, I don't care. There are people that are in control. You know, I don't want people fighting right now. I don't want to be bombing Syria. I don't want to be fighting with Russia. I don't want to be challenging China in the uh, South China Sea. I don't want to hear about countries shooting down jets because they crossed their airspace. I don't want to hear about this anymore. Cut it out. So those corporations, well, I'm telling you, 